Hello my ladies. Thank you for coming to my channel. Thanks for tuning in. Hello ladies. Welcome to my channel. I'm Prairie Girl Lifestyle. I'm Susan Davis and I appreciate you stopping in. Well, I wanted to share with you in this video what I do in the winter time. What do I do with my time? And if you watched my other video on how I broke up with my cell phone, I am uh, limiting my time on social media. But I've always been a, a reader. I love to read books. And winter time here in Iowa is a great time to do that. And I wanted to share with you some of the books I've been reading lately. So this... Uh, the topic of what books I've been reading lately takes me back to last summer when my sister and I traveled out west. Now, we both love the west, and I'm really drawn to it. I love cowboys and Indians. I'm a, you know, cowgirl myself. I've always been attracted to that. And we went and uh, visited. Uh, when we travel, when my sister and I travel, we like to see all the history and we like to see all the forts or remnants of what's left of forts. Uh, there are still some that are around, um, which are amazing to see. So I had just gotten done reading a book on uh, the warrior Red Cloud. And I'm sorry I don't have that book here. I loaned it out, but... That's what made me want to go to Wyoming and see this uh, Fort Phil Kearney, which it was a fort that the Army built, of course, up by uh, Buffalo, Wyoming. And the fort, of course, is not there anymore, but they do have a, a center there where you can stop, and they've kind of got it laid out how the fort used to be. And um, lots of good information there at the visitor center. But what happened there at that fort was, you know, the Army was building forts so people could go along the Oregon Trail and the Bozeman Trail and get to settle out west or get to the gold, whatever. But um, Red Cloud was one of the only Indian chiefs that was successful in fighting the American soldiers. Red Cloud and his tribe were very upset, you know, that the white people were coming and he actually, there was a massacre there, and he wiped them all out. And that, you know, only happened a few times in the history of the, of the United States that the Indians actually won a war. So I wanted to see it since I just read the book. So we went there, and it was very interesting. And the lady that was running the store there was real interesting to talk to, too. And she said, you know, oh, you need to read these books. I got over here. We have books for sale. <clears throat> And they were all written by um, this Kent Nurburn. Uh, and I don't have those books with me here. There was three of them that we bought because my sister's reading them right now. But Kent Nurburn, oh my gosh, what an author he is. Those books were amazing. He, these are true stories, he went out and spent time with the Native Americans in South Dakota, the Lakota, and um, those three books are his story of time spent and what he learned living and being around the Native American people. Um, just really sad stories, very sad, but also very interesting in what um, the Native Americans, the gifts that they had, uh, just amazing to read. I highly recommend those books. Uh, I think most of them were on the bestseller list. I do have some here that Kent wrote because after I read those three, oh, I wanted to get some more of his books, but uh, before I talk about that, this was the other book that we read uh, that the lady at the 
Fort told us about. My Army Life in the Fort Phil Kearney Massacre. This book here. And this is an actual, the journal of Francis Carrington. Sorry, my dog's, my pup's playing in the background. But Francis Carrington wrote this book. Well, she didn't write the book, but she, this was based on her journal. She made it, kept a journal while she was at the Fort Phil Kearney. And so this is a first-hand account of what happened there and what transpired. And I love to find books that are first-hand accounts of people that actually saw or were there when these types of things happened. Um, I'm a big American history nut, especially in the West, in the Native American culture. And so um, reading this book was really cool because, you know, she was there. And um, this is a really good book. So then, then reading Kent Nurburn's books about his experience. Now that was the Lakotas over in the Dakotas, uh, not not Wyoming, but very interesting. And his way of writing is so good. I can see why he's on the bestseller. I can see why he's on the bestseller list. You can't put his books down. So I immediately, after reading those three books, went on the internet and looked up Kent Nurburn. And, uh, of course, found other books that he has written. And I just got done reading this one, uh, Chief Joseph. He was the Nez Perce Indian chief. Again, you can't put this book down. Very interesting. I never read anything about the Nez Perce. Uh, the only thing I knew about them was uh, from breeding horses all my life, I knew they started the Appaloosa breed. But um, another excellent book. That I couldn't put down. It was a very. This is a very sad story. You know, uh, the United States government was just awful to the Indians. And when you read these books, especially this one, it's so sad. Oh my gosh, this one is so sad. But it's also our American history, and I want to know about it. And it is interesting how these Nez Perce eluded the army as long as they did. Very good reading. So then the other Kent Nurburn uh, books I got was this one, The Wisdom of the Native Americans. Very good. This one is um, broken down into different sections, which is interesting. It has a part one is The Ways of the Native Americans, the different ways they think about the land, their learning, living, the ways of their heart, uh, just tons of chapters there. And then the second part is the soul of an Indian, the ways of the spirit, the ways of the people, the coming of the white ways. And then part three is the wisdom of the great chiefs, which is really, really interesting. It has the chief's speeches from Washington, D.C. when they went to Washington and tried to plead their case and, and uh, have the government help them out of their terrible conditions. So that's a great book. And then here's another one, Voices in the Stones by Kent Nurburn. Life Lessons from the Native Way. And then the last one of Kent's I got was Native Echoes. Listening to the spirit of the land. Oh, I love that. Listening to the spirit of the land. You know, uh, American Native culture, they believe everything is alive. Um, and the earth is their mother, you know, Mother Earth. So, really good reading. So, yeah, I've been reading all those books. I've read so many books on American Native culture in history. You know, I'm going to be knowing it pretty good. Um... And one thing about this book, this Frances Carrington, her journal, in it she um, talks about other books that authors had written during this time. And unfortunately, I didn't write them down until I got to the end. And she, I mean, I can go back and try to find them, but I did that and it was like, oh, I can't find where that was at. But anyway, there was one that I wrote down at the very end of the book. She talks about somebody else had written a book, a uh, first-hand account again, because they were actually there and saw the fighting and so forth. So I had to go online and see if I could find that book. 
Well, I did because I like to, um, I do collect old Western books and I like to get those first-hand accounts of the actual history of somebody that was there so it's not you know so it's really pretty pretty true to what happened and uh, so I did find this book that she talked about in her book Indian Fights and Fighters by Cyrus Townsend Brady I was lucky to find a first edition so this is a collector's item it's a first edition it was, I think, let's see. Nineteen oh four. This book was published in nineteen oh four, so that's how old this book is. Um, so yeah, the pages are very, you know, delicate. I have to be careful with it. I have not read it yet, but this is a great uh, book to add to my collection. I'm really excited about that and excited to read it and see see what it's all about. Um, okay, so yeah, that's what I've been reading. I just am really attracted to the Native American culture and uh, I actually have a friend in Montana who is an Indian and my sister and I have been in a sweat with him and tried to learn some of their culture. It's a very spiritual experience when we go there and do the sweat, and I love it. And I guess you could say I'm a child of nature. I love nature. And with that said, watch uh, my next video because I'm going to expound upon uh, what I'm talking about here. Okay. Well, hey, I hope you've enjoyed my book reviews and what I've been doing with reading this winter. And I hope you're having a great day. Thanks for coming and taking the time to watch my video because again, you know, we only have so much time. So thank you so much. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Go out and make it a great day, ladies. Fill up somebody's bucket. Give them a positive message. Yeah, that's what we're here for. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.